only go to the two, four, or six positions. It will not go to the three and five positions. So it can attach here, it can attach here, it can attach here, but it will not attach to three, it will not attach to four. But when I have a group that is withdrawing electrons, it is taking away electrons from the benzene ring. Now, okay, so yeah, before that, uh, sorry, I forgot to say, so it is only going to the ortho, ortho or para positions, it will not go to the meta positions. You don't have to use these names in your exam. Uh, you can just say two, four, six. You're good to go. So now we were talking about this uh, nitrobenzene. So uh, what happens when it withdraws electrons? In this case, it was taking, ele it was giving electrons. In this case, it is withdrawing electrons. So when it withdraws electrons, the negative charge density on the um, benzene molecule it lowers. It is lowered. Here it was increased. Here it is lowered because this is withdrawing electrons. So in this case, the two, four and six positions are deactivated. Here they were activated. It means they had more negative charge on them. More negative charge, more negative charge. Uh, but here they are deactivated, which means they have less negative charge. So relative to the two, four and six positions, relative to these positions, the three and five positions are activated. The meta positions are activated. So because these positions now have a lower negative charge density, automatically these positions have a higher charge density, negative charge density. So now my electrophile can only attach to the meta positions, which are the three and the five positions. So my electrophile can only attach to the three and five positions. So this is an activate. So OH is an activating group. NO2 is a deactivating group. We have activating group and we have deactivating groups. So it is an activating group because it activates the two, four, and six positions. Uh, this is a deactivating group because it deactivates the two, four, and six positions. And therefore, relative to the two, four, and six positions, the three and five positions are left activated. So my electrophile can now only attach to these areas. Now let's do an example of uh, such an electrophilic substitution reaction or maybe two of them with one with an activating group and one with a deactivating group. So let me erase, erase all of this. Now let's begin with phenol. I have my phenol and I want to add a chlorine to it. Just as an example, I want to add a chlorine to my phenol. So this is my very stable benzene molecule with a phenol molecule because an OH is attached to it. This is the phenol functional group. Uh, it's very stable and I have my Cl plus ion as I have, for, I created it with the AlCl3 catalyst, uh, but I'm not going to write the equation because you already know how it is created. So again, I can only have two, four, and six positions. So I attack it from here. Like for just for an example, I attack it from the two positions. I attack it from here. And I get my unstable intermediate. So this is my OH, okay, I made a slight mistake, let me rectify it after making my OH. My intermediate is unstable, so I will get a broken circle, not a full circle. Uh, it's my intermediate and it's, it has this plus charge, then it has CL, then it has H, and I will have this curly arrow because I want to make it stable again, which gives me uh, just a second.
स्टेबल अगेन है 